I'm starving. Nah. It's your boy Jim's Mr. Stop Eating Dirty, Stop Being Dirty, the three day juice only challenge. So I want to do new content for the channel. You know, I do battle rap fitness. As you see, I go like one and one or two and two. Or I want to go back and forth because I want to stay true to my core fans, which and support my fans, supporters. I don't like the word fans no more. You got, you're my supporters. You support me. I appreciate y'all. You know, for the people out there who, who, who like that I go back and forth with the fitness and the battling, that's the point of the channel. I want to stay true to the, the core um, people who's been here. And I also want to stay true to the new, 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 new supporters and new people who are on their journey of dieting and fitness as well. So, you know, if you could write in the comments ideas and, you know, stuff for bad rap and for, and for fitness and dieting, you know, help me out, man. I, you know, I'll shout you out if I take your idea. Maybe I won't say nothing. Just run with it like I made it up. I can't. But nah, seriously, man. I'm doing a three-day challenge. I got these juices. It's six juices a day. No coffee. No protein bar. No protein shake. Just six drinks. Uh, I plug. Maybe I'll plug it in somewhere. You know, my editing is type trash. But you'll see the drinks. I'm. We'll take it. I'm gonna take you along the journey. And um, so basically, I got it from Raw Generation. Um, I was just thinking of a joke with like with all the young parents these days, like even myself, we're living in the literal raw generation. So now, so it's these six drinks and like that's it. There's no food, no protein bars, no protein shakes, no nothing, just these drinks. So what I'm gonna do is um, today I'm about to weigh in right now. So you'll so you'll see my weight at the start of the challenge, which is today, Monday, and then I'll do the drinks for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Thursday morning, I'll weigh in. We'll see how much I lost. Uh, uh, you know, uh, in weight and see if it really works. And I, I think it sucks, you know, because I, I, I personally eat like around 2,000 calories a day and I still in a caloric deficit because I'm supposed to have 2,400 a day. I like to always stay like four to 500 calories under. So I think this total is like 1,300 only. I, I'll put it in here as well. I do know it's only 44 grams of protein a day, which is ridiculous because you're supposed to have one gram uh, uh, protein for body fat. So I should be having somewhere like, well, we'll see actually. I think, I'm, I think I'm like 195. Could be like 200. I really don't know. But don't get scared with that too. It's a whole nother vlog to do about that. But don't pay attention to the scale. The mirror is what matters. I was 200 pounds before, no muscle. You know, just had lost weight. Now you know, I'm around that same weight and packed on some good, good quality size, good quality muscle. So don't focus on the number too much. Focus on the mirror. And your own happiness too. Don't focus on, if you're happy, you're happy. As long as you're happy with the person who looks back at you, that's all that matters. Who cares what I do, she does, he does. Who cares what anyone says? If you're happy, find your happiness and stick with it. If that's overweight, love yourself. Underweight, love yourself. Skinny, fat, brolic, love yourself. And that's what matters. But let's get this challenge started. I'm starving right now. I'm gonna, I'm weighing, I'm gonna weigh in with an empty stomach, so we'll do it that way. Then we'll get these juices going. I'll take you along the journey of if it's easy, if it's hard, if I'm starving, if it's satisfying, if there's enough protein and fat and carbs, you know, uh, um, and everything um, inside these juices to keep me full, because technically you're not supposed to be starving on this. It's supposed to be enough, enough macros to keep you full. We'll see. Subscribe to the channel. Let's do this. I'm lit! Yo. No way. No way. What? It is. Wow. That's incredible. 188, we'll say. Yo, I'm hype. I was 253. I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. 110 calories, no fat, 25 carb, 2 protein, 24 grams of sugar, which is all from, I'm guessing, the lemon and the apple. There's no added sugar. Hey, that's that total sugars, and the input is zero. So when you see the total, it means that all sugar is natural, and then when you see the including, is what they add to it. So this is just straight up. Uh, see that was basically, I'll cut, 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 cut. Let's try it. 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 Let's try
I'm starving. Uh, it's just a little rough right now. I have to say, there's three drinks in, probably working out today wasn't the best idea. I think uh, hour cardio, some chest and triceps. You know, I'm used to having a nice protein shake after, a nice hearty breakfast before it. I did it fasted. Uh, definitely was feeling better before. It's, it's rocking me right now. I'm halfway through the drinks and halfway through the day. Uh, hopefully, you know, those other drinks that are a little, uh, have more fat in it and things of, uh, of that nature would fill me up more. But as far as right now, this tastes like dog shit and I'm starving. Right? 140 calories, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, it's I hate it. Raw generation, citrus carrot, carrot, orange, ginger, lemon. So this is what I'm about to eat right, drink right now. Eat, drink, however, I, I'm losing my mind over here, y'all. I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm losing gains, everything. I'm hungry. And look how love conquers all. Look what she get. She don't even know that's coming. So not only does she not even know I got her cheesy bread, but I got it on a day I can't even eat. Love conquers all. Motherfucker. All right, so now we got cacao, hemp. Hemp, raw cacao, coconut, and dates. Uh, and toes. Oh, uh, we about to watch Salinas. I have anything for Salinas. This one sounds fire. I bet it is. I have one more after this where I'll tell you how that one is and how this one is. And I was saving the best ones for last, which I think I did wrong. Because if you see, this one has 367 calories. It got 20 grams of fat. This is probably what I was supposed to have during the day to give me energy. That's why I was about to pass out earlier. Like I was dead ass dizzy a few times today. So we'll do it a little different tomorrow. Oh, sh shout out Road Generation for not sending no instructions on how to do this at all. So the rose. Okay. while she drinks, yeah, she, she shouts out her rose. Okay, let's do it. All right, you bastards. Day okay. two. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna say it right. You spilled the animal. <laughs> all right. It's 5.32 a.m., but my my setting is messed up. Isn't it funny how every time you give your car to the mechanic, it come back funny style? Your CDs ain't there, all your radio um, channels ain't set no more. Like, I feel like they just do that shit on purpose. But, yeah, man, 5.30 in the morning, we'll have this, uh, get this beats out the way. I'm so starving, it's probably be delicious no matter what. Uh, day two, uh, gonna hit the gym, gonna... Uh, do uh, my cardio, work on back, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna go too crazy, lift too crazy. My energy levels are a little low. We're gonna do it, we're gonna get it done. Let go. Since setback, my stomach is bubbling. I dropped some filthy, you would think I was a gangbanger the way the bathroom was like, bleh, bleh, and I'm just nothing solid. It's just coming out disgustingly. I started running for six minutes and I need to go to the bathroom. It's just an update on what the juice is doing to me day two. Run city. All right, coming to the end of this workout. Well, the cardio at least. They're gonna go next door, lift some weights. My lunch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Pesto chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> this one is fire right now. So we have one more day after this, and then Thursday morning I'll weigh in. And uh, we'll talk about it. Until then, anything for Saninas. <laughs> 3 p.m., day three. 9 p.m., day three. The last drink is done. Body to half a gallon of water, damn near with this to get full because I cannot lay down hungry. It is complete. Tomorrow morning I weigh in and I'll tell you what I think. Boy. All right, so the last time I had a solid meal was on Sunday. I weighed in Monday morning at 187.8. I did the juices for three days, and now today is Thursday morning. So we'll check the weight out. And see the results of drinking juices for three days. That was not worth it.
the fuck? Now let me explain to you, if you're looking for a quick fix, a fast way to lose weight, uh, basically trying to skip the process because you're not entrusting of the process or lack of motivation, basically living the life where you're trying to take the easy way out, there is no easy way out. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not where I want to be. I still strive for many personal goals that I have for myself in fitness and in life. But in even where it took me to get to where I am right now, from 253 pounds down, whatever, the, over 60 pounds, it took three years, going on four. Because I, I didn't get in shape overnight. I didn't get fat overnight. I didn't get healthy overnight i didn't get unhealthy overnight it is a process i've i basically dedicated most of my life to being fat in so many words i basically dedicated my life to eating badly not working out not caring about my health going out to clubs drinking all kind of bottles all night till four in the morning getting out eating halal and all kind of shit like that it takes hard work so so i wanted to just say that to say if you're gonna take these juices and think it's gonna be this quick fix that's not how it works i also took a protein blend juices like it was a protein pack so i was basically i wasn't i was in a caloric deficit but not so off because some of the juices had 300 calories almost 400 calories 20 grams of fat here a bunch of carbs there so it was enough for you to survive through the three days through liquid you know they have skinny it's called like skinny option where you're, where people say they lost 10 pounds in this many days listen you're just gonna put that weight back on anyway if you know how the body works it's gonna end up storing fat you go in starvation mode you lose 10 pounds the next then within the next two days you put eight back you can't rust this process you have to trust the process you have that you also have to subscribe to the channel check check the link in the bio for these masks and all that but besides that I did this, so so in that sense, it was a fail and a bad decision because I, I wanted to see what it would do. I only lost almost two pounds. And I didn't cheat, I didn't eat nothing. I starved, I was dizzy, I couldn't function well. Um, I had a headache, I had a bad attitude. You like, I made it through, I was joking around here and there because I just like keeping the spirits high in general in life. But overall, it really was like damn near torturous I sometimes. It's not for me, if it's for you, congratulations. That's what you do. Now, what I did love about it, what I did get out of it, was the discipline. And that's what I wanted to do because I'm all about self-discipline, mental growth, physical growth in life, growing as a man, a father, a son, a boyfriend, a worker, everything in, in life and every aspect that has to do with growth and positivity and just strength. And strength isn't always just lifting weights and getting big, it's also mental. Sometimes your mental strength is stronger than the physical. And you need your mental strength more than you need your physical. And many times, most of the time, actually. And I say that to say this. The discipline accomplishment that I gained from this was wonderful. The fact that today, right now, I sit here, it's Thursday. I don't know when I'm put this out. Maybe tonight. So the last time I ate was Sunday around 7.30. And then I, and then I waited Monday morning. Did Only had six juices Monday, six juices Tuesday, six juices Wednesday. Then I weighed in today. I wanted, you know, I'm around my girl who's eating badly. I'm around, not badly, but eating. And uh, uh, food and, you know, Domino's and sushi and, you know, going to my mom's crib and she's cooking stuffed peppers. And, you know, it's like, I'm around it. You know what I mean? Working with people who's having Philly cheesesteaks and all the temptations around me. Not only that, even if I wasn't around none of that, I'm still just hungry because I'm not used to just drinking juice. Like, you know what I mean? I need that carb. I need my macros up. And, and, and the fact that I was able to fight it and, and overcome it and not be so uncomfortable where I wasn't really, I wasn't going crazy. I wasn't losing sleep. You know, I was a little uncomfortable here and there. Of course, my body's used to way more, you know, caloric intake. But the fact that I did it and I accomplished it and I set my mind to say I'm gonna stick to this and I, and I succeeded, that was the win for me. So if that's what you're into and you like the success of knowing that you have self-discipline and you're able to have that mental strength, this is for you. Go ahead and try it out. As far as that quick fix, thinking you're gonna lose all this weight, so what even if you do? What you gonna do? Do it again next week? Do it again? I did this, I wanted to do it for the self-discipline and what came with it as well, the curiosity of what I would have lost from it. Also, you know, being able to put out a blog for it, uh, giving you guys content. 
I would never do it again. <laughs> it is not for me. And you know, I'm happy I did it in the sense of the accomplishment of the discipline, but no. <laughs> With that being said, I'm gonna try different challenges though. I am up for a challenge maybe once a month, you know, write, write in the comments, you know, any ideas, any challenges, any blogs, you know, you guys say, oh, you give me two, you know, gyms, why don't you give me some specifics and I'll do it. I listen to the fans, I, 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 when I get the chance, I try to check out the comments and, you know, if I know you're giving me, you know, uh, trying to steer me in the direction of you think it'll be good content, I'll definitely read the comments even more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, so uh, with that being said, you know, subscribe to the channel. Be safe out there. You know, I got some more blogs for y'all coming. You know, the channel's moving. We, we building, you know, at the end of the day, we living for today and not tomorrow. You know, sometimes I'm like, damn, you know, I hit the subscribe button. I hate saying that, but it's like, yo, before they, before they deleted my last channel, I was almost at 50,000 subs, but I don't live for yesterday. That it wasn't meant for me to continue that channel. It's meant for me what I'm doing right now because I wasn't the happiest that I was back then. Not to say the channel had anything to do with it, but that's just not me anymore. I'm a new person, I'm, I have new perspective on life. So if having a channel from the ground up again is what it was meant for me, I'm all in, I'm all for it. But subscribe. Stop being dirty.